What is causing so many deaths in the state's primary hospital, Goa Medical College? There have been 75 deaths so far, and it's alleged that the inconsistent oxygen supplies behind the fatalities, with Goa government now announcing to establish 20,000 litre liquid oxygen plant at the hospital. But isn't that too little, too late now? Sora Bhaktania with this Crown Report. This is the Goa Medical College, which has become a hospital of horrors. Every day and every night, patients infected with COVID lose their lives due to erratic oxygen supply. This is the exact location where oxygen cylinders are loaded in trolleys and then brought to the hospital in tractors. It's alleged that tractor drivers are finding it difficult to maneuver. These are the tractors on which the trolleys are attached. And on those trolleys, these are the oxygen cylinders. Now continuously, continuously several rounds are made through this tractors, oxygen cylinder are brought into this Goa Medical College Hospital. That's not all. This is your worst nightmare turning into reality. Oxygen does not even reach the COVID wards. The oxygen pipes are several years old and therefore the oxygen does not supply to the third and fourth floor properly and the oxygen level several times goes down, which is when the patients die. So how is oxygen being supplied to this hospital? First, Scoop Industries Private Limited, a private firm, is the supplier. The refilling plant of the firm is at Corlim, which is 15 kilometers away from the hospital. The oxygen is brought to the hospital in tractors and trolleys under police protection. Facing unprecedented heat from the opposition over the string of deaths, the Goa government has finally broken its silence. Goa's health minister Vishwajit Rane has said that 350 patients are shifted from the old GMC building to the new super speciality hospital. Earlier, the health minister had said that the super speciality hospital will be commissioned. He then retracted from that statement after India Today's report and now claims that it's already functional. He also assured the setting up of a 20,000 litre oxygen plant in the hospital as early as on Saturday itself. Most important part of this tweet was Goa's Health Minister Rane is appealing to the Chief Minister Pramod Savan to commission this block. So even if this place is still not commissioned, 350 people, 350 COVID patients have been shifted over here. So what is the government waiting for to commission this hospital? And is there no coordination between the health minister and the chief minister? But the opposition is unimpressed, directly blaming the chief minister for the fatalities. If I am to suppose that health minister also wants to record earlier saying that the maintenance needs to be done. The maintenance is taken care by the GSIDC, which is Goa State Infrastructural Development Corporation, which is headed again by the chief minister. I don't know what the GSIDC is doing. It's taken scores of deaths for the Goa government to wake up. But even so, the situation continues to remain grim and there are no major changes on the ground as yet. With Saurabh Bhaktanya in Panaji, Bureau Report, India Today.